Hello beautiful people. For the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing a how-to series. And first things first, we're going to start off with our brows. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my glasses. So I'm going to be doing two different things on both of my brows so you can see and choose which way you want to do it. But for me, I'm going to go in on this side with the pencil. Before I do that, I always make sure that you spoolie your brows. But for today, I'm going to start like halfway in the middle. And I'm just following the direction that my brows grow, making a very like thin line, just like that. And don't worry about if the line is, you know, not as straight as you want it because you will go ahead and um, fix that with your concealer later. And then you can kind of add a little bit towards the front. You can start at the front and work your way back. It's just 100% how you want to do it. And just like that. Then I'm going to go from the top. Now at the top, I don't suggest you starting your brows, the line up here. I suggest coming back just a little bit. And just outline the top. And then when you get to this arch part, for me, I have a natural arch, but I want my arch a little more rounded, so I'm gonna round it up a little bit. Just like that. Now you take that product and you fill in anywhere that has like um, gaps that you can see in your skin. You don't have to make it too dark um, unless you want it that way. But if you make it dark, only make this dark, I mean, make it, excuse me, the portion back here dark, not the whole entire brow. Sorry, I got a notification coming through. I'm still filling it in. Now, when I get to this portion, I like to flip. You can do it this way, but I like to do mine sideways and just make hairs going upward very lightly, just like that. And keep looking to see if you need to add more. Take your spoolie, lightly brush those hairs up, just like that. Now when using pomade, you want to make sure that you have a angle just for this video. Let's start halfway. And you're very lightly pressing that uh, product into your brow. Start at the top, again, not the front. Round it when you get to that natural arch. Fill in the areas that need to be filled in. The only thing with the pomade, you also can use it on the back of your hand to kind of warm the product up a little bit. So that is easier for you to work with. But if you're a beginner, I don't think pomade is probably the easiest to work with. But you definitely can try it until you, you know, get it to work for you. Now just adding a little bit of product 
to the front of the brows a little at a time. Now to build up the hairs. I'm just taking the brush, facing it forward and flicking up. And that just to give it um, a little bit of little hairs, taking that spoolie. And combing that product through. Just like that. And I need a little more, so I'm gonna go back in, get some more product on my brush taking it in the top, making sure that it's evenly blended. Taking my spoolie and lightly brushing that product up. one is my tart shape tape and since it's open already I'm gonna go ahead and start on this side and I like to only add it to the back portion of my brows and as you can see I did not go all the way up to my brows and that's because I don't like that much product sitting underneath my brows I like to take a flat brush and lightly lightly tapping that product up there to clean up the brows. Now I'm gonna go in with my NARS. I'm doing the same thing. I don't go directly underneath. I come down just a little bit and then build my way up. So start here, start working that product up and cleaning up that line. And when you go back, it's okay if you go over some of that a little bit. And so that this is not a harsh line sitting under there, I like to bring the product down. Just like that. So I'm just buffing out the edges of that as well as I'm going on top of the top portion to make sure that everything is nicely blended. Especially in this area right here because I don't want um, this darkness to linger right here without me completely blending it out. And my brows are not done. Move on to this side. For this side, we only using this one concealer. And this time, I'm just gonna do the whole entire thing, but still doing it the same way. Bringing that product down a little bit and working my way up to clean it up. And really taking my time because I don't wanna disturb the line that I created or anything like that once everything is done. It's fine if you have to, but you, you don't really want to. You wanna take your time. You see the difference? And I like to just start off on this side. Let me come in a little bit. And if you like, you can do your brows after your foundation. I prefer to do my brows as well as my eyeshadow before doing my foundation because it works better for me that way but it's totally up to you how you want to do it and whatever is left on the brush then I like to add it to that very 
uh, front portion of the brows taking whatever is there and just rolling going in with that accent brush to really buff that into the skin and blend it out even further just like that long but I like to start the exact same way that I apply the product very light strokes you can do the one swipe across if you're confident to do it I've done it before and I achieved the same way that I'm doing it now but just prefer to do little by little because doing it little by little you're less likely to mess it up versus rushing and doing one long stroke Front, whatever is left on that brush which is barely anything and then brush that product or blend that product out just a little bit take your accent brush and really like pressing that in and blending out the edges so when you go to add on your foundation you don't have a line that's sitting smack that in the middle Right, same as this just go back in and for me mine's always going to look like that because on this side the hairs is very fine than they are on this side my spoolie and whatever is sitting in the center of my brows brush that product into my brows and then brush my brows up this is what gives me that ombre look do the same thing over here so you're brushing in from here into the brows you're not scrubbing back and forth you picking up picking up picking up Picking up. Because when you start doing the back and forth motion, <clears throat> excuse me, you're putting way more products back up here than you need. Especially if you want a more natural looking brow. Now, as you can see right here, a lot of that product disappeared. So I'm just going to go in and add a little bit, just like that, and then spoolie it up. And right here, a lot of that product is still there. Just like that. Now 